CT Special Forces are amazing games. I consider them masterpieces. The first two at least. But the third one is also great. Many call the games Metal Slug clones. And yes, there are similarities in the shooting parts, but the games manage to keep their originality. I didn't feel while playing that the games try to imitate Metal Slug. Sure, the style or genre is similar, but it didn't feel like a copy. Rather, it felt like an original take on the commando type of gameplay Metal Slug has. Each game also has sections that break up the gameplay and spice things up. It's amazing that you can shoot in an angle, the hand-drawn animations are stunning, the controls are nice and responsive, you can get a flamethrower, rocket launchers, machine guns, grenades, not just the usual gun, but you get that in Metal Slug 2. I also appreciate that the gameplay in the first two games is nicely paced. The games don't overstay their welcome in any part. They are short games you can finish in about 2 hours, but everything feels fine-tuned. No gameplay section feels there for the sake to add more gameplay. Rather, the gameplay feels well balanced. It's so thought out that you feel the game to be a quality and fun experience. For example, in the second one, you jump off a building, adjust your parachute and after you land you start sniping down targets. You also get boss fights, take all the C4 in a base while mowing down thugs in your way in a time limit, you even get levels where you have to plant C4 in a building in a time limit. The games even have two player co-op, if both of you have cartridges of the game and a link cable. The first game has 12 levels, you have a parachute minigame, the sniping minigame which rewards you an extra life if done correctly, and you also get helicopter sections. The second one adds to the gameplay. It has better and smoother animations than the first one, the overall graphics are better, there are more levels, you can now roll, which is useful during gameplay, you can now knife people and it's awesome that the knife works automatically. In the first game you couldn't use the knife. You can also enter tanks now, there is a new form of helicopter section, aside of the first type of helicopter section you got in the first one. And the third game is amazing too. But it's not a masterpiece because it's not as fine-tuned as the first two games. The third installment got different names. In Europe it's called Bioterror, in the US it's called Navy Ops. The third installment adds underwater sections, which is cool, but the third installment, even if it's very good, it isn't a masterpiece. Many levels drag for too long. The pacing isn't as fine-tuned as in the first two installments. The level design is also worse, it feels more video gamey. Let me explain. In the first two games you felt like a guy on a commando mission. The first games make you feel epic and in spite of them being 2D, they feel immersive. The third one with its many platforms and arrows feels more like a video game, it's less immersive. So to summarize, the first two games are masterpieces. If you wonder which is the best, the second one is clearly the winner. It has the best graphics, the best gameplay and is better looking and longer than the first one.